Hi everyone, this is Jadle for Cloud9 Crafts. For this video I'm not creating a card, but an envelope today. It's been a while since I made one. I have the new Lawn Fawn Simply Celebrate Critters stamp set, the Lots of Stars background stencil, and then the star of the show, the 123 punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. You can find the link with all my supplies in the description box below, so feel free to check it out. So with this punch board you can create envelopes, boxes and bows. The instructions are printed on the board itself, which makes it super easy to use. The instructions are on the top. On the bottom you can see all the measurements you need to create a custom sized envelope. I will be making a regular sized envelope that can hold an A2 card well. So first of all I have to trim my paper to the exact size that the board prescribes. I'm using Lawn Fawn white paper by the way since I was going to be ink blending on top. Then the board also tells you where to punch and where to score. So you see those steel numbers on that uh, flap of the punch board. That's where it says where you have to place your paper. So I place the left edge of my paper at the correct placement and I punch. Then with the bone folder I score on that right side. And that punch board again tells you exactly where to score. Then after that I rotate my paper 90 degrees and I just repeat that same process. I punch and I score again. When you do this four times you create this strange looking piece but you immediately recognize it's an envelope with four flaps that will be adhered later. I fold three of those edges so I could place it in my Misty and stamp that cute row of cats with MFT Extreme Black ink. I actually stamped the image twice to get a good uh, crisp impression and you see me also using the stampendable stem tool uh, to do this. I unfold the edges again so my envelope is flat on my work surface. Now, as you can see in a moment, I trim down a rectangle piece of masking paper and just place this under the row of cats. This is where I will write my address later. To mask off the cats, I just use the coordinating dies to die cut my masking paper. I remove the backing of that masking paper and I place it on top of the cats, making sure to firmly press down to the paper. So I have three colors of Distress Oxide here, Tattered Rose, Abandoned Coral and Seedless Preserves. But first I have to mask off three edges of the envelope too. I will ink blend the back flap as well. Um, I masked those edges with that white heavy doodle tape. I prefer using this white tape uh, because it really prevents ink smudge smudges all over the envelope. Mostly I am not that secure when ink blending, so this really helps me out. I'm starting my ink blending with the lightest color, which is Tattered Rose. Then I mo move to the red shade, which is the Abandoned Coral. And I go back and forth with those two colors until I no longer have a harsh edge. Then I go in with the third color, which is Seedless Preserves. And I go back to the coral one and then back to the tethered rose. Going over those colors multiple times is really the key to get that perfect blend. I do want to mention that I mostly use blender brushes now. I find that they give the best and smoothest results while ink blending. As you can see, I hold down my envelope with a scrap piece of paper. This prevents ugly fingerprints on top of that beautiful blended cardstock. 
Then I can move over to the stenciling part. I put my stencil over my envelope and place it down with magnets on top of my Wendy Vecchi uh, station. As you can see, I also masked off the top edge of my envelope now, as I didn't want stars on that uh, flap. I used the new Lawn Fawn Lots of Star stencil for this, by the way. Uh, to get that subtle look, I just took my three colors of oxides I used before, and I go over the whole stencil with those three colors again. Uh, I do this with a more firm hand, so the stars are subtle, but still noticeable enough. If you prefer, you can also use white pigment ink to stencil the stars on top. Then they will be more visible. It's just all about the look, the look you really prefer. Now for the big reveal. This must be the favorite part. Uh, removing that masking tape and seeing those stark white edges. This makes me so, so happy. At this point, I can also remove the masking paper from the middle of the envelope. And as you can see, no ink smudges whatsoever. Isn't this fun? I removed the coloring process from the video uh, because there was not much to color. I just used a few warm gray markers for all, for all my cats. And then with a Copic multi-liner, I marked all the edges of that rectangle in the middle, so the focus would really be on the address. I used a very strong score tape to adhere all the flaps, so I would get this custom-made envelope. I put that tape on both flaps on the side, and I pressed the tape down with my bone folder. I remove the backing paper and then I just press that bottom flap over it, as you can see here. Pressing down again with my bone folder. And this creates a super fun envelope. It's really not difficult to do, so you should definitely try this. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!